Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I learned how to do what I thought was going to be a hard animation. It was actually pretty simple. So today I'm going to show you guys how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. Now when you open DaVinci Resolve, I'm using 17 right now. I've used 16 in my previous videos, but for the most part, these are exactly the same. Now you're going to come in here, you're going to go to new project, and I'm going to name this stroke. And you're going to wait for the project to open. I'm going to go over here to the edit tab. Right click in the media area and new fusion composition. I'm gonna change this to 30 frames a second. I'm gonna leave this at five seconds for now and we're gonna call this stroke. You can call it whatever you want. It's your, uh, it's your project. Now I'm gonna grab this and put it into the workspace. Click on fusion composition and down here we'll go to the fusion tab. Now once you're in the fusion tab, you can see that my media out snaps to grid. Now you want to right click, go to arrangement tools and make sure to grid is selected here. So it'll go, it'll snap to grid. Now, first off, we're wanting to animate a text. And so we're going to bring in a text node, which is right here. And we're going to come over here and I am going to type in stroke. Now in previous videos, if you see my previous videos, these, this two tabs down here, if you click on this one, it's going to show in your right one. You click on this one, it's going to show in your left one. You can also take it and drag it to the screen you want it to be shown in. So I'm going to media out over here and I have my, uh, the stroke over here. Now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change the text to something that says script in it. So I'm going to use a Sego script. I guess that's how you say it. And then we're going to increase the size of it. Once I got the back, once I got the background node in here, I'm going to press F2 to rename it. We're going to name it stroke and I'm going to put BG on it for background. Now with this tool selected, we are going to press control space to open up your selection toolbox. And then we're going to type in paint. Once this is up, we're going to press F2 on the keyboard and name this stroke. Now we want to merge our stroke brush with our text. So we're going to grab the gray box and we're going to connect it to the gray box on the text. And when this connects, make sure stroke is going to the green tab on merge and make sure text is going to the yellow tab. All right. So once we got a merge together, I'm going to take the merge and I'm going to put it in my media out here. So this is what you're going to see whenever you connect this to media out. To fix this. We're going to select stroke background, come all the way over here to the alpha and we're going to set that to zero. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the uh, stroke, which was the paint node, and pull it into this window right here. We're going to make these uh, screens a little bit bigger. I'm going to pull this down and we're going to make this one. All right, well, so once you get this one bigger, we're going to make sure the merge node is showing over here. We're going to click on stroke. Don't make it show on any of these. And now what we're going to do is we're going to cover up the letters here as you want them to appear. Once you've selected stroke here, come up here to this poly tool and select it. And now we're going to go through and we're going to select these letters as you want them to appear. Now to make this over here a little bit easier to see, let's go back to the text. We're going to go to color and we'll make it blue. So now you can see the color of the line over it. Now we're going to go back to the paintbrush, the brush controls. We're going to increase the size and reduce the softness until we're almost covered up everything. Now I'm going to adjust these angles here just a little bit. Now press control and scroll on your wheel to zoom in here. And we'll make sure all of the S here is covered up. You want this one in one continuous motion. So we're going to click on here again to start from here and we're going to drag this all the way down through the T. Come back up and then go over on the T and then back down on the R. And that's it. Now, if you had another word that you wanted to do with this, like I did in one of my personal projects, you'll just continue to click around like this 
and then come back to the next word. Now I'm going to control Z all this out because I don't need any of that. Okay, so once you've got all this covered up like that, let's go in here to the sizing and let's work with the sizing and try to cover up as little as we can. Now we're going to make sure we are selecting the stroke, which is the paint node. We're going to come over here. We're going to go to stroke controls. And as you can see, when I remove this bar, it animates it. We're going to come up here to frame 110. I'm going to right click on end and we're going to go to make it animate. So make sure 110 frame is animated. This is wherever you want the uh, animation to end. I'm specifically making it 110. Then we're gonna come back down here to frame zero. And we're gonna pull this. Once you pull it down to zero, it's gonna make a keyframe for frame zero. And as you play it, you can see it covering up the letters. So uh, here's future me fixing issues. And the issue has to do with this uh, smoothing out the spline. So I'm going to show you guys how to do smooth out the spline here in a different scenario, but it's going to be the same thing on your current project. Okay, so to smooth that out, you're going to come up here to the spline section here, like I said in that video, but this is the part that was covered. Now over here, you're going to have a box that says end on that one. Go ahead and select the one that says end. I'm going to select size. I'm going to select size because that's what I did on this one. You're going to uh, select the zoom to fit. Now you're going to have two squares on that node. I got three. But you're going to select all of the squares on your node after you zoom to fit and you're going to press S on your keyboard to smooth it out. So by doing that, you should smooth out the animation. Now to make our text appear and not like it's being wrote over, let's go to merge. We're going to come over here to this window and under operator, we're going to go from over to in. It's going to make your text disappear because you're on frame zero. Now let's go ahead and play it again. I'm satisfied with that. Now to render this out, we're going to do the same thing as we did with everything else before. We're going to come over to the deliver page. We're going to make sure it's set to quick time. We're going to go GoPro Cineform, 16 bit, 30 frames a second, because that's what we set it at. Make sure individual clip is selected and we'll export to alpha right here. Now I'm going to select a location that I want this to save to. I've selected the location I wanted to save to. I'm going to name the video Stroke. Double check, make sure everything is setting. All my settings are correct. I'm going to add to render queue. Come over here and I'm going to render all. Now, depending on your computer, it depends on how fast it's going to render. Mine rendered in one second. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over this project that I just got finished recording. So I'm going to go over here and press Home, New Project. I'm going to save the project that I just made. I'm going to put stroke YT upload. Now I got the new project open. I'm going to go over the editing tab and over here in the media, I'm going to pull in this video. I'm going to change it to the settings that this video is in. And here's the beginning of my video when I was talking to you guys. I'm going to grab the stroke animation and I'm going to put it on this video. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it, please give it a thumbs down. Let me know in the comments below why. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below too. I've also got a Discord in my description that you can join. If you have any questions, that's another place you can contact me on. I'm mostly on Discord. I do answer all the YouTube comments that I can. And as always, thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.